Hello student, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to solve some questions which based on the construction. In the last few videos we have already discussed about the various types of construction. And I hope that you get everything clear. Today we shall do some more construction which are also important for our further study. I hope that you will get everything clearly. So let's start from a point of construction of an angle which is equal to the which is equal to and to a given angle Construction of an angle which is equal to a given angle. Okay, so we shall discuss about this construction. How we shall construct an angle which will be equal to a given angle using ruler and compass. Okay, so let's see how we do it. So let us take its solution. Suppose that any angle is given like this. This is an angle which is given as AOB. Okay, this is an angle AOB is given, and we have to draw another angle which should be equal to this given angle okay since its measurement is not clear to, uh, to us so we shall draw an angle which should be equal to this given angle so in order to draw the angle which would be equal to this given angle first of all let's take a ray. So first of all, take a ray QR. QR. First of all, we said take a ray QR. Now, using the compass with O as center and radius as our choice draw an arc on the line on the ray OA which cuts at the point C ok you can take like this and now draw an arc with the same radius draw another arc from Q as center on the ray QR. Sorry. From Q as center with the same radius, draw another R like this which cuts the ray QR at the point P and this is the point C and D now using the compass measure this distance using the compass we shall measure this distance so measure the distance using the compass like this okay 
So we can measure the length of this R which cut the ray OA and OB at the point C and D respectively. Okay. Now with the same distance we shall put the metallic point at the point P and cut off an arc to the original arc. Okay, now give the name of this point as S. Now join the point S to the point Q. Okay, therefore angle S Q R is equal to angle A O B. So in this way our construction is completed. Angle S Q R is equal to the angle A O B. So student, this is the construction of an angle which is equal to a given angle and I hope that it is clear to everyone. Now let's see this solution once again with another question. The question is construct an angle AOB which is equal to a given angle. This is the given question. Construct an angle which is equal to a given angle. Here, the given angle is this. This is the given angle P Q R. This is the given angle. P, Q, R and we have to draw another angle which should be equal to this given angle. So, first of all, let's take a ray. M, O, N. O, N is a ray that we consider now with point O as center and with any radius of our choice draw an arc which cuts the ray QR at any point Okay, now with the same radius and with the point O at center, draw the R which cuts the line, the ray O and at any point. Okay, which cuts at any point.
Now measure the distance. Suppose that this is the point S T. Now measure the distance S T using the compass like this. Okay, so you can see that this is the distance that we have measured in the compass. Now with the same distance cut off an arc to the original arc. Now join the point, suppose that this is the point P and this is the point, sorry, this is the point M I and this is the point J. Now join the point J to the point O. This shows that this shows that angle K O N is equal to angle P Q R. Okay, so this is the required construction which shows that the angle K O N is equal to angle. P Q R. I hope that it is clear to everyone. Now let us see the next construction of a perpendicular line. A construction of perpendicular bisector. Construction of perpendicular bisector. Construction of perpendicular bisector. This is the Next topic, we have to draw construction of perpendicular bisector. So, how we shall draw a perpendicular bisector of a line segment? Here, we have to draw perpendicular bisector of a given line segment. Bisector means a line or a line segment which will divide a given line segment in two equal length. Okay, so first of all we shall consider a line segment of a fixed length. So first of all Take any line segment of a certain length. This is the given line segment A, B, and we have to draw a perpendicular bisector of this given line segment. So, student. Let us see how we shall do this. So, from the point A and B as center and with the radius more than half of the line segment, draw two R on the both sides of the given line segment. So here we shall take the distance more than half of the line segment. Draw 
and R on the both side of the line segment AB. Again, from the point B as a center, cut up two cuts on this arc. So that one cut is here and the second cut is here. Okay? Now, join these two cuts to each other. Give the name as P and Q. Therefore, P and Q with a required perpendicular bisector of the given line segment AB. And hence we write here the line segment PQ is the required. is the required perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. Okay? So I hope that you get everything clearly. And in this way, we have completed our construction. If you have any problem, leave a comment. I will clear in the next video. So we shall meet in the next video with some new questions. Till then, goodbye.